What's up you guys and welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a look at some sledging moments in cricket. Now do you know what sledging is? Okay, I think we talked about it before, like they trash talk each other. Basically intimidate another player is what, what I got from it. We had to look this up. Okay, this is kind of dirty. A uh, dirty? What yeah, do you mean dirty? Because you're like psyching each other out to do bad and just, it's not <laughs> nice. Stuff. I don't know if I'd go with the word dirty, but I, I mean. It's, it's playing that, a little dirty. I guess so. so. I don't know. I mean. Maybe a little bit. A little. It's not nice. When I think of dirty, I think of someone taking the bat and just cracking your shin. Oh, you put hardcore that, That's one. dirty. That's really dirty. The video I found, I'm going to link in the description below. Go show that creator some love. Otherwise, let's jump into it right now. We all know that cricket is a gentleman's game. But there are some instances where opponents sledge each other and make sure the other person loses all its focus from the game. However, as an audience, there is nothing more satisfying than seeing a player taking revenge by giving a befitting reply to the opponent. So with that said, here we are with the list of top 10 famous reply to sledging in cricket history. Number 10, Brian Lara vs Danish Kane. Play. Just been total domination. After <laughs> bowling a ball, okay. the spinner it said, well played Lara. Lara later destroyed the spinner by hitting three sixes in a row. What? Good job. Well, Said I'm not gonna take that from you. And hard. One six. <laughs> and it's gone for the maximum. This really is well someone we haven't looked at either. We have to take and a look put away at. With style. Ooh. There's another one. And this one's gone further than the one before. Well, he shot How his big was that? Bad. That's got to be termed as a 12. A 12. <laughs> That's a 12. Really, another masterful hit. Oh. oh. And he's not finished yet. Another glorious strike. Wow. Unbelievable hitting from Brian Lara. Wow. 56 from 28. I like that commentator. That looked like a 12. It's probably a 12. There. Hilton's reply to Bradley Sledging. Good job, and nicely played in the end. Just a stare down? They're going to test the temperament of uh, both teams. This is Khan will have to hold his nerves. Right the a few words will be exchanged. <laughs> well, what are the words? That did not look like a friendly it, encounter. No. Nope. He must be confident that it's not a very fast trek. <laughs> Nothing's going to go up his nose. Whoa. Obviously, whatever he said didn't work, though. No. Wish there was a little bit more context to that one. Yeah. Like what he said, but it didn't matter. It really did. Thank you very much. George Butler trolled Sheldon Cottrell. When Butler sent a ball from Cottrell into the stands and responded to Cottrell's trademark salute. Pulling the world record, a salute from Butler towards <laughs> Sheldon Cottrell as well. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely I like when they don't let it bother them Butler. and they just go ahead and do their business. <laughs> I like that. Number seven, Gautam Gambhi versus Shane Watson. All the bowlers in the world will get up and say, ah, oh, there you are. We never get any such. During a test match between India and Australia, Shane Watson begins sledging Gambhir from the start of the game. Also, Gambhir did not hold himself back and replied back in his style. You might wonder about Watson's reaction, but he's not happy that Gautam Gambhir made that little move down the pitch at him. He can bowl at 141 k's, but to me, you're just a spinner. He does not seem like he wishes the batsman very well. <laughs> <laughs> no. Should get two. 
if not more. The Empire can be a just Baji Baji between the Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> that was not <laughs> here we go. Exchanged. I think that falls under that category of a little bit dirty. That yeah, that was a little it's dirty. Such nudging. Sachin Tendulkar was once sent to Pavilion by Henry Olonga for only 11 runs. After the match, Olonga said that he knows how to get Tendulkar out. He played a streaky drive through the offside in the air. Sachin said nothing but took his revenge two days later in the final of Coca-Cola Champions Trophy in 1998. Ooh. This is his revenge. That's the best thing you can do, though. I, I think the same, yeah. Yeah, when someone's, like, trying to get you down and psych you out, just play well. I think that's what this video is about. I was expecting to see some <laughs> some words getting shot at yeah, each other. I think so too. Of Olunga for a four or six, and he eventually scored a century. Dhoni's reply to abusing a freebie. It's in the air and quickly into the advertising hoardings. When Dhoni hit a freebie for a beautiful inside out shot, a freebie started abusing him. However, in return, Dhoni just Two legends and here. very next ball, again hits Afridi for a six. Oh! Okay. Oh, so he's slow in the air. <laughs> and pick up uh, the line very early, and Shahid Afridi is not ha happy. Oh, and then he goes and hits it even further. <laughs> that is sweet revenge. And it's got the distance as well. So Dhoni joining Sehwag in the party. And the 50 runs partnership comes Don't up. Don't with Dhoni though. Of just 34 balls. Well, the heat is on. Oh, these two, they are turning it on for India and also for the spectators. What a great time to Number see four. those two play though. Sehwag's yes. savage reply to Mohammed Sami. Mohammed Sami was continuously staring at Sehwag after every ball he bowled. Sehwag then replied with a fierce square cut. Nothing wrong in that. <laughs> Sammy goes right up to Virendra Sehwag after oh, he's bowled his ball. Speed. And have a look at this. Just gunning Sehwag. for his head. He looks like he's out for blood, doesn't he? Yeah. Looks him straight in the eye and says, I know what you look like now. <laughs> You've got nice hair. He's not going to take that. Mm -mm. There's one adjective you can attach to Vrinder Sehwag as a batsman is smart. In fact, he's street smart. Bang! Oh! You can look at me again. And look at me as long as you like. 130 for one. Harbhajan Singh's reply to Shohi Bakhtar. Another dot ball. Very well bowled, 261 for six. A little altercation. <laughs> a little. Or should we say a few pleasantries exchanged between Shwe Bhaktar and Harbhajan Singh. The discussion took place or it's not going the well. language used was uh, Punjabi. Oh no. And both He's going back. He's going to get his hat. I wish I could and a couple other words. Uh, <laughs> needs to strike big for I really wish we could hear these words. I do too. We need to go back to Stump Mike, I think. Oh. Words, whatever it was, didn't stop him, though. <laughs> what a feeling in the dressing room. So, did you ask him? Right That's of the yeah, Stump Mike was the best. Yeah, you could hear everything going on. This looks like a little bit of older clips, though, so that might be. That could be it. But we get it. We know. We know what's happening. Rahul Dravid versus Dominic Cork. England's fast bowler Dominic Cork was seen 
giving a stare to Rahul Dravid after his bowling follow through. Rahul Dravid then destroyed him with his bat. Even the commentator said that Dominic is no match for Rahul Dravid. First he got the boundary, oh. great shot from Dravid. Then he got another, slightly shorter, half tracker, which... That's a fantastic shot. Just taking aggression out on the field. Well, well, it's a boxing contest. I'm <laughs> throwing in a towel, saying to my man, Cork, get out of there quick. Oh, wide. what was that? He's wide enough to do so, but no, Shogun Silver decides enough is enough. He's not going to bowl straight, we're not going to get any more boundaries, we're not going to get any more entertainment. The number one <laughs> not going to get any more. <laughs> has to be Ganguly's shirtless revenge against England. Ooh. Andrew Flinner celebrated the victory in Mankheri Stadium, Mumbai, by waving his t-shirt on the ground. Flintoff takes his shirt off. As you would expect, England have won the sixth one. Saurav Ganguly was not happy by his celebration style. Then in 2002, National Series Final, India won the match and Ganguly waved his t-shirt from the Lord's balcony. Lord's goes wild! India! <laughs> they have like their shirts up. This has to be the most iconic moment in the history of Indian cricket. So that was a long time come and come back, basic. Not so much words, but more or less actions. I know there was words on the field. Yeah. But we've seen some actions. They said, you know, if you're going to look at me like this and talk to me like that, watch what I'm going to do, right? Yeah, he's That's like, what I got well, from you it. know, talk is just talk. Let's see what you can really do on the field. Anybody can talk, but can you play? Right. That's exactly what they did. Now, I've seen that the creator, and I didn't know this before we watched it, uh, it was very one-sided, I feel like. We watched a lot of... <laughs> a lot of India. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that's okay. Maybe that's just how the creator put it out there, but... I need to go back to Stump Mike, like we just said. Yeah, I think Stump Mike has it much better. Where hearing you, it, yeah. You can feel involved and hear what they're saying. Exactly. I mean, you could by how deathly they were staring <laughs> down everybody else, but let's go back to Stump Mike. Yes, be a little more a part of it. Yes, let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below other video Stump Mike conversations that I need to check out. Send those links. I really do appreciate that. If you may say and hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, we'll catch you on that next video. Thanks for watching.